Well, it's been a while, hasn't it? Yes, I am shirtless, but that doesn't matter. And... And... I don't know what happened there, my camera froze. And I'm listening to the radio along with listening to the listening to Deadliest Catch. But anyway, what is up, Hardcore Nation? It's Hardcore Christopher here, and it's been such a long time, I think I need a visitor's card. But... Where have I been? I've only uploaded one video, and that one video was me doing quizzes. Well, I'm going to tell you where I've been. And <clears throat> please stay with me because there's a lot to go through. So, at the beginning, Beginning of 2024, everything everything was normal. Everything was everything was what it was. You know, but let me go back. Let me go back a little bit to December of 2023. December of 2023, something happened. Uh, my grandma, who, who drove to work, um, she works at she works at uh, she works at a restaurant and just one day she got out of her car went to went to turn around lost her balance <clears throat> she lost her balance and fell well when that happened um when she fell, she fractured her hip. So my uncle texted me and told me that she had a sore knee. So I thought, okay, knee injury. Well, it wasn't a knee injury. Um, she wanted to go... She wanted to try to get out of going to the emergency room. But, so, so my uncle took her to the Freeman, uh, little Freeman hospital clinic thing. Turns out they were closed, so, the, so they went to, uh, the big Freeman hospital. And... She got x-rays, and turns out when she, turns out when she fell, and I'm getting really tired of my camera freezing up on me, that, it came back to when she fell, she shattered the ball of her hip. So she had to spend time in the hospital, got hip replacement surgery, well, a total hip replacement surgery, on uh, on Sunday. And then had to go 
to Wildwood Rehab after that to um, to get rehab and uh, learn how to use a walker and everything. And on top of that, my aunt moved in to help her and for me to help her. And that's that's what happened there. Well, after she got home, I was very much I was very much trying to get used to things with her being on a walker and everything and then January hit tail end of January actually and I find out that my neighbor passed away. And the way I know that is because uh, my neighbor's niece, who I haven't heard from ever since high school, well, yeah, I hadn't heard or seen from since high school, contacted me via a group chat, and she said that my neighbor, her her uncle had passed away and being the inquisitive person that I am I asked how and just gonna put it out here I don't know why we'll never know why But he committed suicide. He uh, he shot himself. And when I received the news, I I felt like someone had punched me in the gut. And so I went to his viewing. I went to his grave uh, graveside service, and got in touch with former friends or former acquaintances and that's what I've been doing. Um, you know, it, it's, not, it, 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 it's nothing against you guys, it's just At that time, I didn't want to do anything, especially because um, he died at the age of 27. Four days from his viewing, I, me and my sister would are 27. I'm 27 right now. <clears throat> I'm 27 right now. And it put life in a completely different perspective. To see someone in the prime, prime of their life take their take themselves out of this life and especially when you're as close as I grew up with his niece as well, and it's just something that I didn't want to, 
I never thought he would take his life or anything like that. But it was something that happened. Um, I have... I tried to get back into the swing of things, but it took me a week to feel fine. And by fine, I mean okay and start moving around and doing stuff. It's taken me a lot longer than anticipated um, to get back into the swing of things because not only did I not only did I face my friend's death But I was also dealing with my grandma, who was on a walker and still needed help and everything like that. In fact, after the graveside, me and my aunt took off because we had to. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't out of disrespect or anything like that. Um. So, what else has happened? Oh, yeah. Got in contact with with, acquaint, with acquaintances, and they, one in, one in particular, uh, we started to, yeah, we started talking and everything, and it was someone that I thought I would never reconnect with, and I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad that we reconnected. Um, that is until la That was until recently when that friend blocked me. I don't know why. He, they blocked me. They just did. So I had to deal with that. Um. Yeah, but guys, I am. I am back, and I'm going to start uploading videos again. And that's that's what has happened. Um, thank you all for your understanding, and thank you for listening. I'm I'm hardcore Christopher. Keep it hardcore, everyone. How long have I been? Twelve minutes. And for the mouth.